It's the sound of blowers and chainsaws across the low country. Irma dumping an estimated 40 million pounds of sand. Yeah, sand on Palmetto Boulevard on Edisto Beach. They also had a ton of water, as you can see in this video uh, we got from the air. This is video from a helicopter on Tuesday, the day after Irma hit. They're making progress out there. Governor Henry McMaster is scheduled to tour Edisto Beach later today. Sound of generators and pumps also heard in downtown Charleston. That's where we find news to Colby Thielen. He's out of Colonial Lake in downtown Charleston right now. Colby, it's going to be a volunteer cleanup effort out there this morning. There is. It starts at 9 o'clock this morning, and things have started to return to normal here. At least that water has receded, but there's still debris like this scattered across parts of the park. And organizers say that they're really concerned about the plants, which really took a beating. And as you mentioned, this isn't the only place that cleanup is happening across the low country. Crews down there in Edisto are working to clear that 40 million pounds of sand that covered the main road along Edisto Beach. South Carolina Department of Transportation has 50 employees from across the state clearing sand from Palmetto Boulevard. They say this project should take four to seven days, weather permitting. You may be wondering how this compares to the damage after Hurricane Matthew, so we asked the state secretary of transportation. Once again, Edisto Beach uh, received a, a large impact from the storm. The sand levels that we're seeing last year, we saw roughly about four foot of sand on the road. This year at the deepest place, it's about two and a half feet. Now we were actually there last year for part of that cleanup as the National Guard used heavy machinery to move all the sand, the four feet of sand last year, and residents weren't able to return for quite some time. Now right now there's no estimated cost on the cleanup there at Edisto Beach, but they say they are saving money by using DOT instead of hiring contractors. We're live in downtown Charleston. I'm Colby Thielen, News 2.